Hello everyone, my name is Emma with Arizona Science Center and welcome back to our 1230 Facebook Live. I'm super excited to be here with you all today to be doing a fun activity about sound. So sound hearing is one of our five senses and today we're going to be exploring how sound might be helpful to us and seeing what we can use sound for. So we're going to start by going over what is sound? What is sound? If you think you know, feel free to put it in the comments if you think you know what is sound. You don't have to go super into detail. So sound is actually a form of energy that moves in wavelengths. It's kind of like light in that sense. Um, those vibrations give off energy that move in wavelengths. Miss Erin did a wonderful activity yesterday on Monday showing what those wave, um, those vibrations might look like. So if you want to see that activity, head on down our page and you can see that. But if you want to see something really quick to see what those vibrations might look like, just grab a rubber band and your fingers. I like to stretch it out on my fingers and then pluck it like a guitar string. I don't know if you can hear this over the Facebook video, but you'll be able to hear it when you do this on your hand and you'll be able to feel those vibrations. When those go in through our ears, um, our eardrums vibrate and we're, be able, we're able to understand those sounds. And so those sounds help us kind of understand the world around us. It gives us more information about what's going on around us. Sound is how you're listening to me right now. So sound is very helpful for just interacting with the world. So today we are gonna play a fun guessing game to see if we can use our sound to see what's going on. So I have three objects here in three boxes. So I have a little dinosaur toy, I have a penny, and I have a marble. Inside these boxes are pennies, marbles, and dinosaur toys. I'm going to shake the box. It'll be like a present when you're trying to guess what's inside. Um, and I want you all to see if you can figure out using just your sense of sound, your hearing, see if you can guess what's inside the mystery box. Are you ready for the challenge? Awesome. Okay. When you think you know what it is, put it in the comments so we can see um, if you got it. Let's go ahead and start with this pink box because pink is my favorite. Okay. Well, that was really loud, for sure, that was loud. Do you think you know what's inside that, this pink box? I'll show you one more time. Do you think that it was the marbles? the little dinosaur toy, or the pennies. What do you think? Okay, let's, let's open it up and find out. Oh, it was pennies. These pennies are metal, so when they hit each other, they make kind of a distinctive sound. Okay, so we know the penny is out. So now we still have our dinosaur toy and our marble. So let's see if we can figure out which one is which. Let's go ahead and shake this blue one. Hmm. I wonder what's inside of that. What do you think? What do you think is inside of this little blue bin? Do you think it's the 
marble? Do you think it's the dinosaur toy? Or do you think it's something completely else and I'm trying to trick you? I wouldn't trick you, don't worry about that. Okay, let's see if we can find out what was inside. I'm gonna open it up. Oh, it's the dinosaur toy. So the dinosaur toy is plastic, so when it hits the, the plastic container, it kind of makes a distinctive noise there. Awesome, did you get that? Okay, so by process of elimination, we can kind of assume that the marble is in there, but let's still listen and hear what that sounds like. Oh wow, that is really loud. Ooh, that one was really loud. Okay, but let's see that. Oh, okay, so there were three marbles in there and you can hear them bouncing together. So we really use our sense of hearing and sound to help us navigate the world. Our sense of hearing, when you are in another room and you hear things crashing down, that lets you know that things fell in a different room. So our sense of hearing really helps us interact with the world and know what's going on around us. Prey animals use their sense of hearing to know if there's any predators nearby and if they're in danger. So that is our, one of our five senses and how it can help us in our lives. Thank you so much for joining me. If you wanna play your own mystery game, just find some containers and some objects, put them inside and find someone else to play with. If you're looking for other fun science activities, please check out our website, azscience.org, or just scroll down Facebook and look at our other Facebook Lives. Again, my name is Emma, and thank you so much for joining me today. Bye!